ان اظہار خیال کر رہے ہیں دوسری جانب آپ کو براہ راست سے جائیں گے وزیر خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی دولت مشترکہ وزراء خارجہ اجلاس سے ویڈیو لنک کے ذریعے خطاب کر رہے ہیں کامن ویلتھ از اے فورم اسٹیپڈ ان شیئرڈ ہسٹری باؤنڈ بائی شیئرڈ ویلیوز اینڈ ڈرون ٹو سم آؤٹ کامن تھریٹس دی ایجنڈا آف دس میٹنگ از پرٹنٹ ٹو ٹوڈیز challenges 2020 has been a particularly turbulent year individually and collectively the covid-19 pandemic has been a test of our resilience and resolve we all struggled some with great success than others to cope with its impact global trade has been disrupted international tensions are spiking vulnerabilities and inadequacies stand exposed the worst economic downturn since the great depression is upon us this virus may not have discriminated between the rich and poor it has certainly affected the vulnerable the most to top it all winter begins with it uh, there's a fear of a resurgence excellencies pakistan has been fortunate enough to escape the worst ravages our pandemic recovery rate has earned appreciation from major international organizations including the who It has been the government of Pakistan's endeavor from the outset to save people from dying from the virus and dying from hunger. Through enhanced social spending, coordinated and targeted response mechanisms and introduction of tech-driven smart lockdowns, we have been able to mitigate the worst fallouts. And eight billion dollar stimulus has helped keep the economy businesses and households afloat pakistan has also been at the forefront of efforts to create fiscal space we appreciate the positive response to prime minister imran khan's global initiative on debt relief for the developing countries and small island developing states G20 and the international financial institutions have provided welcome relief in the shape of debt suspension. A lot has been achieved. Clearly, more is needed. The Commonwealth can contribute by a learning from success stories such as Pakistan's and helping mainstream best practices utilizing commonalities in legal and administrative systems to overcome protectionism and maintain free trade c launching dialogue for deeper and more sustained debt relief to allow for stronger and more sustained economic recovery d lending weight to calls by prime minister imran khan and other world leaders for a people's vaccine a regime in which all treatments and diagnoses are made patent free mass produced and available to all countries and peoples free of cost ladies and gentlemen it is a matter of concern that the world over the pandemic has been accompanied by a spike in intolerance violence and racial discrimination this is manifested in various forms of hate speech xenophobia and islamophobia and in the incendiary of populist and supremacist ideologies the core principles on which the edifice of this commonwealth and the modern world is built of rule of law of fundamental freedoms and of 
multilateralism are endangered. Excellencies, while the world is preoccupied with the pandemic, a state in the South Asia is targeting specific religious and ethnic groups in order to foment division and hatred among communities. It has observed the rights and freedoms of millions, fanned hyper-nationalism, engineered illegal demographic change in disputed territories and stoked regional tensions. We ignore its transgression only at our own peril. Pakistan welcomes the Commonwealth statement on racism and feels it rightly focuses world attention on a growing menace in our midst. In the same way, Pakistan commends the Commonwealth's no more campaign against gender and sexual violence. Ladies and gentlemen, no country is immune from the impact of climate change. Yet, developing countries are disproportionately affected. Despite Pakistan's limited contribution to global greenhouse gas emissions, it is among the most climate vulnerable countries. We owe it to posterity to take urgent climate action, build resilience and adapt. No action will be sustainable unless based on the principles of equity and common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities as set out by the Paris Agreement. An urgent and ambitious climate agenda can only be pursued if adequate, predictable, as well as new and additional climate finance is made available. It is time the pledge by developed countries to mobilize $100 billion annually for climate action is fulfilled. For Pakistan alone, the total abatement cost for the intended 20% greenhouse gas emissions reduction till 2030 is around $40 billion. Pakistan highly appreciates the Commonwealth's climate change related initiatives including its Climate Finance Action Hub. We've already expressed our willingness to benefit from the services offered by the hub. Pakistan has also joined the Commonwealth Blue Charter Action Group on mangrove ecosystems and livelihoods. On its part, Pakistan is fully committed to play its role in addressing the issue of climate change and making a shift towards a clean and green Pakistan. We've launched uh, an ecosystem restoration initiative at national level. The initiative, among other activities, aims at planting 10 billion trees throughout Pakistan in the coming three years. Our first electric vehicle policy aims at replacing 30% of the road vehicles with electric vehicles by 2030. Excellencies, the Commonwealth, our Commonwealth, has the potential to make a difference. Let us never lose sight of our common values and core principles, which are a proud and shared heritage. Let us instead harness our great resources and resilience to create a better and more hopeful tomorrow. I thank you. وزیر خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی کا دولت مشترکہ کے وزراء خارجہ ورچل اجلاس سے خطاب اپنے خطاب میں وزیر خارجہ کی جانب سے کہا گیا کہ پاکستان نے کرونا سے نمٹنے کے لیے جامع حکمت عملی مرتب کی ہے اور عالمی سطح پر پاکستان کی کاوشوں کا اعتراف کیا گیا وزیر خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی اب سے کچھ دیر پہلے وزراء خارجہ دولت مشترکہ کے اجلاس سے خطاب کر رہے تھے انہوں نے کہا کہ حکومت نے کاروباری برادری کی معاونت کے لیے پیکج کا اعلان کیا اور کرونا وبا سے نمٹنے کے لیے جامع حکمت عملی اپنائی گئی حکومت پاکستان کی جانب سے 
اور اس کا اعتراف عالمی سطح پر کیا گیا پاکستان کی کاوشوں کا اعتراف کیا گیا وزیر خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی دولت مشترکہ کے وزراء خارجہ ورچوئل اجلاس سے خطاب کر رہے تھے اسی کے ساتھ ہی پاکستان ٹیلی ویژن نیوز سے فی الحال اتنا ہی